Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So in this week's Oracle Card Guidance, we're using Steve Farmer's Messages from Your Animal Spirit Guides Oracle Cards. And we have three options here. And perhaps you don't see them so clearly. So this is the first option here. And the second one, which I guess you can see. And the third one is this here. So go ahead, take a moment and make your selection. And you can go down to the timestamp, uh, which will lead you directly to your reading. All right, I wish you a good reading. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, we're asking, what is it that we need to know right now? And what is it that will guide us as we go along in this week ahead or in this period ahead? So the card is Elk and it reads uh, Wapiti and it says stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. So I've been finding more and more that the Oracle card uh, readings are so much in alignment with the energy at the moment as well as the how we all should be guided or how we all need to be guided as a collective as we go forth during this time and uh, I feel that every week this energy is is coming to us even even stronger and in so many different ways and um, I've noticed for several weeks now that it comes through in the oracle card readings especially in the first option so um, what I want to say here is that this is an energy that we all need to embody. It is actually, we are given the permission right now to step into ourselves and to actually, we, we always have the permission to step into ourselves, but it's almost easier to do that right now and to be ourselves and to be the authentic version of ourselves. And so this card is actually talking about discarding that which is not necessary discarding the pretenses, discarding the facades. It's no longer, you don't need to wear that mask any longer. The mask is so yesterday, you know, it's so old school. It's no longer necessary. It's no longer relevant in this time frame. Uh, this card is talking about being able to reach deep inside of you for confidence that exists within you and to be able to draw that out of you and coexist with that, coexist with your unique self regardless of how others may perceive you and regardless of how you may be accepted or or not accepted you being yourself is not dependent on how others will see you or how they will respond to you there's a feeling here of being alone and standing um, in your solitude and watching and observing and accepting it's about looking on and around you with a sense of non-judgment and in the same vein that you look at others with non-judgment you are able to allow yourself to be regardless of the judgment of others or oblivious rather I should say of the judgment of others if there is such a thing. So the, the other thing I'm hearing here is that your connection to the divine, your connection to spirit right now is so strong and it's only up to you to be able to use your antenna to be able to reach out to spirit and to access the guidance that you need or whatever other answers that you require at this moment. You can simply do that. You can simply listen or, or connect to the divine and you will hear what you need to hear or you will see it it'll come to you in some form and it's something that you can access by yourself it's not really necessary for you to go to a, a healer or a um, a shaman or a, a reader a, you can actually access this right now by yourself it's almost like you have this ability and this this uh, ability has been uh, this capacity has been unlocked in you and it's up to you to be able to use that as well as to not just in terms of being able to see clairvoyantly or clairaudiently your life or the answers that you need but and and the guidance that you need 
but rather to be able to heal yourself and to to work forth with a, a sort of wisdom and a knowledge and know-how and knowing. And so this card is also talking about that. I'm also getting the message that you have the strength that you need. You have everything that you need. Don't underestimate yourself. Don't see your stature or your height or your, you know, how wide or how small you are as a defining factor for who you are. And regardless of how others perceive you, again, you are standing in strength and you are mighty, glorious, magnificent being. And it's up to you to be able to recognize that and to feel that strength as it courses through your body and through your veins. And, and when you realize this and when you stand in your strength and you are, you have this mighty force that is with you as you are grounded and you're connected, you know, with you with your feet to the earth and with your antennas or your your with your spiritual connection to that which is above you, you have this kind of psychical connection and it's like feeds into it, each other and you don't you don't need anything more than that you are what you need to be and all you need to do is stand tall and maintain your dignity and i want to add to that to drop the mask or drop the the, the pretense you don't need to be anything different than what you are even if that's what you think. You think you may think that you need to behave a certain way because you're interacting with different types of people or you need to maintain a role in a certain position, like at work you are someone and at home you are somebody else or in a social setting you are somebody else. But if you find that you are, you have been playing these roles and they've been important for your survival until now, the message here is that it isn't any longer important. It isn't any any longer a part of your life and you don't you no longer need it it's no longer um, part of that skill set that you require and so yeah that's basically all of the message that I have for you for this week uh, for those of you who've accept, uh, who've um, um, chosen this option here and I can't think of anything else right now just trying to feel I'm just trying to see and feel if there's anything else that's coming through here. Okay, there's one more message here um, before I leave you. Don't walk with trepidation, okay? Leave the anxiety in the past, leave the trepidation, leave the, the, um, the uncertainty behind. You need to be sure-footed now. You need to be sure-footed and you need to have trust and faith in yourself as well as the world around you. This is really an important part of this process, just to, to be able to trust and to believe in yourself and to allow yourself to believe in yourself. It's, it's no longer um, attractive or sexy or um, somehow appealing in any way to be not this person who is certain and confident and, and going forth with uh with with all that you you need to be and i don't know that's a weird way of describing that and i'm sorry if it's offended you in some way but it's um yeah i don't know why they give me that message i think what what i'm trying to unpack it but basically I, what i think it means is that there is a sense that whatever you've been doing until now if it hasn't been that you have been standing tall and maintaining your dignity and being completely within yourself and, and being completely authentic and, and accepting and, and, and standing in your strength. If you haven't been doing that, then it's time to let go and, and leave everything else behind. And I think that's why they're saying that whatever you've been doing until now, if you haven't been doing what this is, then it's time to let that go. It's no longer required. It's no longer an appealing aspect of yourself. Not to say that others would find this appealing or that you or that you would find yourself appealing in this manner, but simply to say that it's no longer a necessary part of your life. Okay, so I hope that message has been helpful and it's really feels like a universal message here. 
So yeah, I do hope that it has been helpful and that you can go along and feel this and be your elk, be your wapiti and just bathe in that, bathe in, in the light and the beauty that comes with all of that. I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead and lots of love. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, the second option, we ask him, what is the guidance that we need as we go along in this week? What is the guidance that we need as we go along in this week? And there is a card here. I feel like there are two cards, but it isn't. It's just a nicely waxed card. And the card is dog. And the, the caption reads, Your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. Okay, so this is also something of what I've been feeling with regard to the energy here. The, the message is basically saying prioritize. Prioritize and decide whether you are going to feed your fears or you're going to serve your fears, or whether you're going to serve that part of you which is yearning to flourish, yearning to blossom, and yearning to be seen, or to be, um, the word I got was exposed. Um, so it's almost like you've been hiding yourself from the world, or it's almost like you, you're not willing to, uh, to bring your strengths and your talents out there for people to recognize it. And this card is saying, well, you know, it's fine to do that. It's absolutely okay to do that. And what are you going to do? Are you going to, you know, serve the master of your fear and and continue to, to desire something, but then be conflicted in terms of your manifestation? Or are you going to prioritize what it is that you really want? Remove the obstacles from your path, whether they be fear or doubt or lack of faith or lack of trust or an inability to be able to have faith in oneself. So, you know, perhaps sometimes there's a process that's needed where you need to train yourself to do that. It doesn't just come naturally. One needs to believe in oneself. And we live in an age where we are constantly told that we are not good enough and we are constantly told that we need to buy this product or that product or we need to do this or do that in order to be good enough. And so it's very hard to actually maintain that love for oneself and that belief in oneself. And I think here that if for you this is the the, the, the the problem or this is the situation that you're faced with, then it's asking you to please believe in yourself. Find a way to believe in yourself and to actually choose one path and go with that. Because for the next while, you're going to be having a lot of support uh, and a lot of, like they have your back, you know, it's like they, they're pushing you along and they have your back and you can just go ahead and do this thing. And yes, there may be many things that you want to do and maybe you're feeling a bit flustered and maybe you're not really sure, but make a choice, they're saying. Just make a choice. It's not going to be forever, but especially for March and April now or in the next two months, whenever you're watching this, um, this is going to be relevant for you. Some of the others of you, I feel that um, you're trying to please too many people. You want to serve yourself, and but you also want to please your family, or you want to please your spouse, or you want to please somebody that's not you. And as long as you are desiring and seeking, and your life force depends on you actually being you, and you are serving the master that is not you, that is you are trying to please, do, you're doing something to please your mother-in-law or your, your mother or your, um, your, as I said, your spouse or somebody else outside of you. As long as you continue to do this, you, you're not going to really be able to free yourself to be able to work in a way that is um, in alignment with your well-being and, your, and what it is that you need to be doing. So serve yourself and be loyal to yourself and be faithful to yourself. You need to put yourself first and you need to actually recognize that and see where is it that you're not putting yourself first and find a way to put yourself first. 
And it's like, I feel like as you read this, some of you are crying out and saying, well, no, I can't do it. You know, I'm in this situation and I can't do that. And I need to think about what they think. And, um, you know, I just don't know how to do that. And why are you saying that we need to do this? And I feel like, you know, they, they are literally some of you are crying while I, while I, while I do this, while I say this message. And I just have to repeat it and reiterate that you need to be good to you. You need to put yourself first. And this card here is really about prioritizing you and understanding what it is that you desire and choosing one path and going with that. And at any moment, if you're not choosing yourself, then you are losing your energy and losing a part of you to another. And that is not necessarily something that you can retrieve or you can get back. It is lost because it's lost in a moment and that moment is gone. And yes, you can create new moment and then and then, but then if you're not if you but then if you're not going to be making a choice and going in the direction that you desire that's for you, you aren't you are going to be losing that moment as well. This loyalty needs to be to you and you can't the other message I'm hearing here is that you can't put others first and think that you that it's if that's going to be the best for everyone concerned and and forsake yourself in the process because you are going to be hurting others in the by forsaking yourself and it's really important now that you be good to yourself this is such a strong message for me uh, of self-love and choosing oneself and and really being you know being there for you and I feel that um, if somebody had to read this card or if I had to read this card at a different point, I would get a very different message here. But this is uh, the message that I'm getting for you. With regards to a few others, if you have more than one thing at a go right now, like if you were studying and working and having more than one job and you're having quite a lot of domestic pressure or responsibilities, then... The, the suggestion is that once again you prioritize what is the most important thing here for you and how can you give it almost at all or as much of you as possible so that you can actually achieve what you need to do because for some of you here I feel like your energy is being scattered and it's all over the place and you're not really moving forward you're moving like a crab you know and it's quite expensive and extensive but it's not intensive and you need to move to move in one direction in in one in one way and, and kind of like focus on that and this is really important right now and i think the the for, you know the month of march is really a fantastic time to be able to to begin that process so i hope that message has been helpful for you and i hope it's resonated and yeah i hope that i wish you a fabulous week as you go ahead so for those of you who've chosen this stone here we asking, what is our guidance as we go along in this week? What is our guidance as we go along in this week? Or at this time? And wow, we have the dog again. Okay, so this was the card that came out in the second option. And if you want to go ahead and listen to that, you can do this. I would like to go ahead and choose another card as well for you because as I'm sure that the if I when I begin channeling a message, I'm going to get something for you that is quite specific. But I would like to just see what else is being is coming forth here. So let me just keep this here so it doesn't distract me for the moment. Okay, so one, here I feel that um, for some of you, you may go ahead and listen to the option number two. Um, if you don't feel drawn to doing that, then don't do that. Uh, I think here, well, the card reads dog and it says, your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. So yeah, I feel like the message is quite strongly about like being manipulated. It feels to me that in some cases you're being manipulated by somebody around you and or you you don't really that's not the intention and it's not really something that you can see so clearly but if you have to look at it quite honestly then you will realize that this person is always there for you when they need you and they 
are keeping you in their life in a certain way that you are not able to move on and you're not able to actually grow beyond this. Now, I'm giving this very, very specific message um, and it doesn't seem like a very nice message either. And and I'm sure there are many of you out there and I don't think that this resonates or is applying to, to every one of you. So, but what I hear here is that in a way you're going in circles and chasing your own tail and you haven't actually grown and you haven't actually moved on. And if you're in a relationship with somebody and they've loved you and then they want to come back and they are expressing their love, etc. If it's that kind of scenario, then recognize that this person's never really let go of you and you never have, you haven't really let go of them. And it hasn't really been a breakup. So actually you've been together the whole time and but it's important for you to know that it, it don't delude yourself or, or tell yourself rather that you've been separated and now you're considering getting back together it's not going to it's not it's it's not going to you're not going to be honest with yourself if you do that okay so those, that is also a very very specific message there's another message i'm getting here as well it says to me like don't be afraid to uh to be happy or to don't be afraid to show your happiness. Don't be afraid to shake your tail is what the message that they gave me was. So it's like, don't be afraid to show your cheerfulness. You may have taken on a um, a role or a, a way of being which is quite somber in the past or quite um, serious or almost quite introverted. But if you have the tendency or the, or not the tendency, but rather the inclination to be uh, extroverted or outgoing, a bit more sociable and a bit lighter, a bit more cheerful, then grab that opportunity and go with it. And don't be wary of that. And don't think, oh, I'm not being myself if I behave in that way. Give yourself the chance to explore uncharted territory in your own life. And there is a chance that you will find a lot of value in that. And this this is a dog who likes to discover things and is cheerful and is happy. And it's showing me that, that you can be this happy person as well. You need to follow your own path and not actually be controlled by another. Don't be controlled by another or be doing the bidding of another at every point. It's time for you to own your life and stop doing these services for others which could be as a detriment to yourself. So it could act as a detriment to yourself. So if you find that you are doing a lot of things or you, your, your life is like 80% serving others or making sure that others are well or taken care of or that they're provided for, etc., then try to shift that a little bit so that a little bit more of that is actually for you and that you are serving you and you are doing something that's good for you. All right. I'm going to turn over this other card now. And it's Panda. Mm -hmm. So Panda's come up. This is one of the cards that I, um, it, it flew out when I was preparing the deck uh, for this reading. So I had an idea that it might come out today. That happens quite a lot in these readings actually. Um, where I'm sitting, I'm sitting a little bit lower than where my camera is, so I actually can't see very well if this is straight or if it's skew, so I apologize if it's skew and it's annoying you. <laughs> um, okay, so Panda, it says create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. So if you haven't already done this, then it's time to do this. If you haven't already giving yourself that space that is really important for you to be yourself, then, then do that. And there's another message that's coming across here. It's like if you give yourself up whenever you are around other people, then it's time for you not to do that. It's time for you to give yourself what you need and to be able to um, take charge of that. You need to take charge of creating that space for yourself, which is within you, perhaps metaphorically, or um, outside of you, physically, an actual physical space, which allows you to reconnect to yourself and allows you to be in touch with yourself. And the, the message for, the, for, the, for those of you who are resonating with this is that 
you don't need to give up yourself and then return to yourself later and try and replenish yourself. You need to actually always be there for you and in touch with you. And when others come in or come or are in your life or are disrupting your life in some way or are visiting or just coming into your office or disturbing you at work or doing something like this, you know, your parents coming in or your 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 children or however it is that somebody is disrupting you or interrupting you from something. It's saying that you don't, you know, maybe you don't need to create a whole new space like another room or another uh, a corner or something like this. You can just have something which allows you to stay connected to yourself if you find that you're losing energy to others around you. So it could be a stone or it could be just your mouse, you know, uh, for your computer or you could be like something that you hold on to like you'd hold on to your mouse um, on a, and uh, just feel connected and if you feel like you're losing yourself to this person or they're coming in and you're like swept away and overwhelmed and just excited that they're there or or upset that they're there and that you're losing your connection to yourself at that moment then you are not prioritizing you and that you're not you know you are serving too many masters and this is what this card means in this context it's that you're giving yourself quite a lot to others and that it's time for you to reclaim that to reclaim that energy pull it back from where it's been you know and make it become a part of you again and recalibrate yourself and, and reconnect with yourself and your energy and the way to do that is just to protect yourself and to actually be aware when it's happening be aware when you're actually losing yourself you don't need to to lose yourself to these others you can actually serve yourself and it's important to to be able to do that and to be aware of your energy in this process. I'm just going to feel if there's something else coming up here. Yeah, okay. I feel here that there's, if you have some doubts um, or mistrust as a result of being always drawn out of yourself, you know, if you always lose yourself to others and you are, you feel bad afterward or you don't feel well while you're interacting with them then you are going to learn to distrust interactions with people you are going to learn to associate such persons or interactions with negative emotions and so it's something that um, you know you need to be also aware of in terms of your own projection into the situation and how you've become this this um this person who's who's always serving others energetically and not yourself you have a bit of mistrust or a bit of like a, like you you you're quite wary of of the of certain people or certain situations and you almost draw yourself back from it and this kind of saying well you don't need to draw yourself back in fact you can go even further into it but you need to be loyal to yourself as you do so and if you aren't loyal to yourself you will lose a lot more than your than the energy that you actually, um, yeah, that you actually are losing. So you lose, you, you it's like you lose your path, etc. But they're not saying that this will happen. They're just saying that that is something that you, you need to recognize that every time you pull yourself or you're being drawn outside of yourself, you are not on your path any longer. And so your journey is being held up or being delayed and it's something that you always need to return to yourself and that takes time for you to kind of come back in and to recalibrate and to find your way again and then it's like before you know it you're outside of yourself again so this is um the message that i'm getting here um and that will breed distrust and will breed antagonism and perhaps apprehensiveness towards those around you so be aware of those um things and if you have those emotions then, um, then work with it and and understand why it's it's unfolding in this in this particular way. So I hope this has been helpful and that yeah and that it's resonated. Um, yeah, it's um, once again lately these messages feel so so specific and I just wonder if um, like a bunch of you are just thinking it doesn't resonate at all. Um, but yeah, I do appreciate those of you who actually uh, comment and leave me these nice messages. And so thank you so very much. It's very nice to hear from you. I wish you all fabulous time ahead 
and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.